In this video, I'll show you how you can run a C++ program that takes input in Sublime Text 3. At the end of the video, you'll be able to write a C++ program that takes in input. As you can see from my example here, this is a simple C++ program that asks a user for a number and then prints it out. When you run it, it will open up a separate terminal where you can put in the number and then it prints it out. This video assumes that you have the C++ compiler set up. If not, I've put a link in the description below as well as up here of a video which shows you how to do it. The issue is that you cannot input in the same resource panel you have compiled in with Sublime Text 3. So for example, here where it says finished in 21.3 seconds, you cannot use this resource panel to input values into your program. However, you can configure Sublime Text 3 to run the compiled program in an external terminal. To do that, we're going to create a build system. So just go to tools, build system, and then click on new build system. When it opens up, just delete the default code and paste this in. I've put a link in the description below where you can get this code. Then click on file, save as, or you can use the shortcut, which is control shift S, and then we need to give it a name. I'm going to call this CPP input. And then click on save. With this, we now have a Sublime Text 3 build system that takes in user input. We can just close this and then go back to our C++ program with input. Now just select Tools, Build System, and then select the build system that we just created, which is CPP input. Now we can use Control Shift B to run. And as you can see, it will pop up a new terminal where our program will run and you can give it input there. So I'm just gonna put in 89 and then press Enter. As you can see, it printed the number that I entered. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.